Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, the annual Enlisted Spouses Club scholarship applications are available. The housing office relocates. H2H Jobs comes to Fort Meade. These stories and more. But first, a look this morning at the recently opened VA clinic right here at Fort Meade. According to the VA, more than 80,000 veterans living in Anne Arundel and Howard counties now have access to VA health care services at the clinic. The clinic is located just behind the Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center at 2479 Fifth Street. The clinic is the sixth community-based outpatient clinic operated by the VA Maryland health care system. Services at the Fort Meade VA include general outpatient medical care, preventive health and education services, various medical screenings, telehealth services, and referrals to specialized programs and inpatient services available throughout the VA Maryland health care system. For more information about the new Fort Meade VA outpatient clinic or to schedule a primary care appointment, call 410-305-5300. In other news, the Fort Meade Housing Division relocated this week from their offices at 4463 Leonard Wood Avenue to a brand new facility at 3081 Ernie Pyle Street. Both the RCI and the off-post housing sections are relocating. However, phone numbers and email addresses will stay the same. Housing officials say that the housing office should be open today, but perhaps with limited service. The new office on Ernie Pyle is located down the street from CDC3. In addition, anyone with questions about unaccompanied housing should speak to their units or see the staff at the Freedom Center. Here to Hired is a Department of Defense program designed to help connect reserve component and separating service members to jobs with military-friendly companies. H2H stages dozens of job fairs across the country. In addition, they also spread the word with the H2H Mobile Job Store. The Mobile Job Store is scheduled to be at Fort Meade for three days, March 6th, 7th, and 8th. The system is free overall to all service members as well as to their spouses. So it's good and available for Guard and Reserve, active component individuals, retired, veterans as well as all spouses. And that's what they get when they come within the side, inside the mobile job store. Let's take a look inside. Right this way. Service members would enter our vehicle. They'd come in, get a chance to go online, see how the system works for them. They go into the system as well as do search engines to find out ways to actually find out where the locations of jobs are. Once they're in the vehicle, they can watch a short video of two and a half minutes, as well as they can sit on the side and read literature to find out about jobs within their areas. We travel around the world 200 days out of the year. Stay connected with us through h2h.jobs to find out where we're going to be next in your area. h2h.jobs, heroes to hire. If you're looking for a job, don't wait for the visit by the mobile job store. Log on to https h2h.jobs to find out more. If you've been thinking about a career change or wondering what other career options might fit your skills or interests, head on over to the H2H website now and take our 14 question assessment test. Let me show you how it works. At the top of the navigation menu, click on the word advice. A drop down will appear. At the top of that, click career assessment. The assessment test is made up of 14 easy to answer questions. I'm going to fill them out real quick and see what H2H recommends for me. Now that I'm done, I can click to see my results. H2H has now offered me a variety of career ideas I may be interested in pursuing. Not all of them spike my interest, but I do like the public relations manager position here. I can keep scrolling down the page to see what other options are there. I can even click through other pages. If I'd like to narrow my results even more, I can go up at the top left and select three different options, minimum salary requirement, maximum required education, as well as the industry. If you have any other questions on how H2H can help you find your next career opportunity, connect with us online. One final reminder this week, next Thursday, February 14th, the Navy Information Operations Command and the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office are hosting this year's Black History Month observation. Once again, it's scheduled for February 14th from 1130 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. This year's program features entertainment by the Morgan State University Performing Arts Department. And this year's special guest speaker is Rear Admiral James W. Crawford III, the Deputy Judge Advocate General for the United States Navy. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great mead week.